Hey Taurus, this is Ascension Empress. I am back. I apologize for the delay, you all, but your girl had a necessary break and it was great. <laughs> it was great. So yes, I hope everyone is doing well. And yes, just take what resonates with you. I'll be using the Right Away Tarot deck and we just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna waste y'all time. We have a full moon in Taurus coming up. So, yes, protect your energy, ground yourself. And this is for sun, moon, or rising Taurus, whatever resonates with you. Mm, we just talked about this. Oh, it's another card behind it. I'm going to say the moon card, but wow, Taurus. We just talked about it. <laughs> we just talked about that full moon. We just getting started. So, yes, that full moon may be bringing up, for some, it may be bringing up some haters. It may be bringing up some conflict. Of course, the full moon brings out people's emotions. Things are just all over the place. And, yes, on top of the retrograde, and this is all opposing all of the Scorpio energy, Yes, protect your energy, and you're definitely going to have to with this surrounding you. Because I can't, I feel like the Five of Wands always pops up in y'all readings. It's like y'all and Pisces. Y'all got some haters, but y'all also be about that money, so I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Hmm. Listen, <laughs> all about that money. Taurus, yes, going into the past. Going into the past. Focused on your pinnacle. Really, what's new? What's new, Taurus? Tell me. Spell, spill the tea, please. I was going to say spell it. <laughs> Shoot. Wow. Even though this five of wands is here, I'm still happy. <laughs> I'm still happy. Wow. The death card. The death card has been popping up in the last three readings, I believe. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because that's like when the sun card kept popping up around Leo season. So, yes, for this death card to be popping up with all of the Scorpio energy going on. And then you got the moon. This is the time. This is the time. For real, for real. And it may be a little uncomfortable <laughs> dealing with all this water fixed energy because you're an earth fixed energy. But honey, this is an opportunity. Yes, yes. An opportunity for your wishes to come true. An opportunity for healing. Um, I'm getting also an opportunity for you to expand your networks with this Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius but I'm getting, even though you may be in the midst of this energy, this full, I keep saying wanting to say full moon, so very well, maybe. But just this energy of some things just not coming to light either. Some things just ain't clear yet. But, it, you know, that is okay. You got Mercury retrograde and full moon. It ain't going to be clear. <laughs> it's not going to be clear. <laughs> It will be soon, though. Just got to be patient. These cards. Let me be patient. <laughs> I just said <laughs> you got to be patient because it will be soon. So that's you looking at all that you have invested all the the work the hard work that you've put in all the seeds that you've sown have come to fruition and that may be this energy that you have now with this moon card and the five of wands and the death card but i'm getting this death is also speaking to the center energy of 
center but it could be center because you may have some centers around you but we all centers these are the type that don't own they don't own their energy they're not aware of their energy and they just cause all this ruckus around you but there is transformation not only because these planetary aspects are transforming people in their own charts and whatever transits that they have going on but also because it's it's deep at this point. We got we got to get to the root. If we are focused on Cancer North Node right now, we ain't got no choice but to get to the root. Ah, uh, we just shout out to Spirit, the Queen of Cups, and the Temperance card. So that makes a yes, yes. There we go. There we go. Now we see to have the Queen of Cups and the Temperance come out. And then you had the Queen, I mean, the Moon and the Six of Wands come out. I was going to say Six of Wands is the Five of Wands. So there, I get Six of Wands energy because the Death card, if you really, really take advantage of this, which I don't get that you'll have to try too hard. You kind of just low-key have to just keep being you, but also be a little more Queen of Cups-like um, with this energy and temperance that. Uh, I'm getting that if you embody this Queen of Cups energy around the full moon, then you will be able to really temper the energy in your environment. So whether this is at work or, you know, just in your immediate surroundings, I'm getting third house energy as well. What's your third house? Is it cancer? Yes, I believe so. Wow. So, yeah, this could. And then you have the moon. font card is a blessing y'all it's a blessing and dang Taurus it's only seven minutes in y'all get a part two or a financial reading just let me know but this hierophant been popping out it's been popping out and you know when I see the hierophant it's technically this reading is pretty much almost over pretty much it's been popping I, th I think it popped out in Virgo's reading, Capricorn. I haven't done Capricorn. Scorpio. It tried to pop out when I tried to do Capricorns. Libra, I believe. It's just been popping out, popping out, popping out. Wow. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Still focused on your stability. Still focused on the long term vision the long-term goal you have tunnel vision right now and i think Taurus, y'all are gonna do very well very well you may feel some a little bit of discomfort because things may be flowing <laughs> a lot faster than your natural or preferred pace but transformation and healing and ascension is here. It is here. You have the seven of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. And the queen of pentacles going into the past. It's like you really, really focus your intention on making sure that you were moving forward in a very realistic way. <laughs> Look at that. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. These Pentacles. Like I said, realizing you have options and also really taking on this Libra-like energy of realizing, okay, who do I need to invest in? Should I give this? You know, I'm getting pigs and pearls, pigs and pearls as well. I feel like I've I talked to Leo about that some months ago so you could be dealing with one but there's also i'm getting a very passionate childlike energy 
And some of you may be very excited to really excited to just try all these new things or implement all these things. But you're being called to balance your energy at this time. So if you are probably trying to some of you are trying to be a mediator in this full moon energy with everybody going all over the place. Some of you are also trying to just pick up the slack that is left when everybody focuses on what they're not supposed to be po focusing on. But I'm getting that to choose wisely, not only to choose wisely, but for you to have the Seven of Cups and the Six of Pentacles telling you to balance things out. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles too and to think about what all you've invested in. So if it is a promotion or if you are in a new workplace, then just be very, very mindful. If you go in there trying to do too much, then some people may have this five of wands energy of, oh, they're trying to do everything. They think they can do it all, this and this and that. But at the same time, Taurus is like, well, I'm going to need you to get up and do it then. <laughs> I feel that on so many levels. I don't know where that just came from. But yes, you're like, okay, so if you're going to tell me what I should be doing, then how about you do what you're supposed to be doing? But anyways, moving on. So yes, just don't get too caught up in that energy. Um, do kind of tap into the feelings and the emotions. Just be aware. Awareness is key. Awareness is key. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. we just talked about not doing too much and being protecting your energy queen of wands four of pinnacles in the world card and it's interesting because the world was kept popping out with the death card and it popped out with the hierophant as well so i get the tours if you really do implement this energy of give and take knowing who to help and just going with the flow of things while being very intuitive and empathic not cold but also you know keeping that balance of keeping your business and your personal separate right now especially if you're in a new workplace they may be trying to get to know you and this and this and that, but we ain't got time for all that right now. Especially with Mercury in retrograde. We don't have time. Let's see one more card. This is interesting. Or two. <laughs> that says it all right there, Taurus. That says it all. You are really putting in that word. Really putting that word. Always been about it. You always been about it. So that is your reading, Taurus. Thank you so much again for your patience. I appreciate you all. And just let me know if you need or if you want a financial reading. I will do my best to get that to you at least by mid-month. And yes, I will see you all again soon. Thank you all. Take care. Bye.